In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install data packs and how to check if the installation has worked. So we'll start by creating a new world. Uh, the settings here aren't really that important. Uh, it doesn't really have an effect on it. The only one that does is allow cheats. So if you have this off, you won't be able to do the commands slash reload or slash data packs, which can both come in handy if you're checking if the data pack is installed properly and also for enabling and disabling them. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to turn this on um, and create a new world. Now to check your data packs, so to see if there's any installed when you load in, what you need to do is do slash data pack list, and this will give you a list of all the data packs that you haven't uh, installed and enabled on your, on your world. So at the moment there's only one, that's the vanilla one, that doesn't actually do anything, it's just there by default. So that basically means that we have no data packs installed, which makes sense because we literally just made this world. So then the question is, how do we get data packs onto our world? Let's start by finding the folder where you're going to put the data pack files once you've downloaded them. So go to your start menu and look at run, and open that up, and then type percent app data percent. This will open the app data folder or one of its subfolders. So in this case, we've got app data and then roaming. Uh, then we want to go to Minecraft and then saves because the data packs, you, you, uh, they run from the world, not the game itself. So you want to put the data pack on the world that you're playing on, the one that you want the data pack to, to run on. So in this case, it's new world because that's the one that we just created. And then we go to the data packs folder. And this folder here is where we're going to put the data pack. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be using this data pack that I made recently. It's uh, it's just a magic spells data pack. So if we download it and we go to save as, then this lets us save into the folder. And oh, actually, in this case, it's actually gone straight there because we were already there. Um, but if if this opens and it's not in there straight away, what you can do is you can copy this the directory from here. Just paste it in there and press enter and it'll take you to the same place. So if we just save that in there, then as you can see, it's there now. It's in our data packs folder. So now we need to check if the world has recognized it. So we're back in the world and to check if it has recognized the data pack, we do slash data pack list again. And as you can see, it has. So it still says that there's one enabled, which is the vanilla, and there's another one available. So this one isn't enabled at the moment, but it's there. So there's a couple of ways you can enable it. You can either do slash data pack uh, enable and then the name of the data pack. That will auto fill for you so you don't need to worry about typing it out. Uh, the other way is to reload the world, uh, which is what we're going to do now. And as you can see, it says that it's active. And then if we do slash data pack list, oh, that's the wrong command. And then just like that, then it says that there's two enabled, which is great. So that means that that's worked. So it's it's running now. If you don't have cheats enabled, you can just exit the world and rejoin it, and that'll reload the world as well. And then that should activate it. It's a lot harder to figure out. With some data packs, it's not very obvious. Like with this one, it's pretty obvious that it's there because it's it's got a little mana counter there. But with a lot of them, it's not as easy to tell if the data pack is actually running. Um, so if you don't have cheats enabled, it can be kind of annoying sometimes to figure out if it's worked but with cheats enabled it's really easy obviously because you can just check so yeah that's how to install data packs and how to check if they're installed properly uh, i hope this has been helpful and thank you for watching